What's up everybody, it's Dan the Bugman. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to inspect a house for cockroaches. If you follow these simple steps to inspect your house for cockroaches, you'll know exactly if you do or don't have German cockroaches in your kitchen. If you want to skip to the cockroach inspection, just look at the description below. But before that, check out this cool video. I think I got bit by a spider, massive spider. I don't even know what species it is. I haven't gotten that close yet. So let's get closer without it jumping on us. Now you can tell that this is a spider because it has eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you know that spiders are not insects? They're actually arachnids. And all spiders have lots of eyes. I don't know how many this one has, but it's got a lot. So it can definitely see me, but maybe it likes me being here. Maybe the spider likes to be on TV. I think I'm just gonna touch it and see what it does. I hope it doesn't bite me. Oh, I'm touching <laughs> I was not expecting the spider to turn around. <laughs> I was expecting it to just run away. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna continue with my termite inspection and not grab any more spiders because I feel like I'm about to turn into Spider-Man at this point. What's up everybody, it's Dan the Bugman here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to inspect a kitchen for German cockroaches. Now German cockroaches, those are the roaches that are so famously called roaches that infest kitchens. Um, they're small, brown, about this big. So if you've ever wondered, hey, do I have roaches? Like maybe you saw a roach and you're like, oh crap, do I have roaches in my kitchen? Or maybe you're a landlord and you just moved someone out that looked a little messy and you went to inspect and see if they have roaches. Well, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the top five places to inspect for cockroaches. Um, the first place I'm gonna show you, a good place to check, but it's, it's not a 100% place that you're gonna find roaches every time. The final place I'm going to check is if you see roaches in this area, then you definitely have roaches. But if you don't see any roaches, you can say 100% sure that this building or this house or this kitchen doesn't have roaches. So let's go ahead and get started. The fifth place I'm gonna inspect is the bathrooms. I'm gonna inspect the bathroom of this building just to show you guys. So once you get in the bathroom, all you wanna do is just check under the cabinets of the sink. That's the only place you need to check. Roaches love cabinets. There's a ton of little cracks to hide in in the cabinets. So I'm gonna go ahead and peek in there. What you need for this inspection is a flashlight. All you do is you take it and you peek up in the corners up there, peek up in the corners right under the sink, and on each side. Now what you're looking for are either live cockroaches or baby cockroaches or cockroach droppings. Cockroach droppings look a little bit like just little black dots and they're always in a group in the corner in an area where the cockroaches hide. The fourth place to inspect is gonna be behind the stove. So what you wanna do, just find the stove in the house and just go ahead and pull it back and check behind it. It's not too complicated, I'm gonna do it right now. Just take your flashlight and shine it back there. If you see any cockroaches running around, um, that's not a good sign. You don't have to get back there all up in the wiring of the stove. Just a quick inspection is gonna let you know if you see anything or not. The next place to look is right behind the dishwasher. Most dishwashers are kind of built in to the wall. So what I like to do is I like to take my flashlight and get down eye level and shine it through the cracks and just go right through the crack there and make sure you don't see any cockroaches or cockroach droppings. Cockroaches love dishwashers, they love appliances, um, especially ones like dishwashers that give off moisture and heat. So we've done three so far. The fifth one was bathrooms, the fourth one was behind the stove, the third one was behind the dishwasher, and the second one, it's pretty general, but it is very important to look inside every single cabinet in the kitchen. And if you look at a normal cabinet, it has a ton of places to hide. You will go ahead and open a door like this. You will take your flashlight, and I always look at the joints here, because they like hiding in these little cracks, and then you look up at the top of each of these corners. There, 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 on each of these layers. You'll look at the top corners. There and there. If you see cockroach droppings, you will know because they're little black dots and they look very out of place. There would not be those black dots there for just no reason. So that's all you have to do. You literally just look in each, every single cabinet. And once you start looking in about half of them, you'll get the picture whether there are or aren't cockroaches. You don't have to look in every single one, 
but I would, if you have any suspicion, just go ahead and check out all of them. Cockroaches love dark places. They will naturally be in places that are hard to see. So as long as you have a flashlight, you'll be good to go. In the final spot that I mentioned at the beginning of this clip, and that is behind the refrigerator. Not in front of the refrigerator, not on the sides. You need to pull the refrigerator completely back from the wall. So we're getting back in here, and all you do, just give it a push. Hopefully yours is on wheels. Most of them are. The refrigerator is a very unique place. The wiring behind a refrigerator gives these cockroaches both moisture and heat, and it's also hidden from view, and it's very close to food sources. With those four combinations, it's the perfect place for cockroaches to hide. So you get down, you turn your handy dandy flashlight on, and you just start peeking around. A lot of refrigerators have a cardboard shield over this area. I'm gonna say just go ahead and rip it off. That cardboard is just to hide the wires. It doesn't do anything. So you just rip it off so you can get in there and really get a good inspection, okay? Once you rip the cardboard off, you will expose all of these wires. So all these wires, trinkets, uh, I don't know what they all do, but all you gotta do is take the flashlight and just start peeking around. Hey guys, I love it when a plan comes together. I set this trap uh, less than 24 hours ago. I was looking for squirrels and I have found one. I baited it with peanut butter and peanuts. So it is true that squirrels love nuts. Once we catch a squirrel like this guy, basically what we do is I'm gonna grab it and show you guys a closer look to really show you its big old teeth and claws. Just kidding. I won't do that because squirrels are vicious. But what we do with squirrels when we catch any wildlife, we just take them to the next customer's house and release it to hopefully drum up some more business. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna release it in this customer's backyard and let it go. Just kidding. We just release them out in the country or parks usually. So I'm gonna let this one go. Okay, buddy. It was nice knowing you. Have a good life. Hopefully it doesn't turn around and get me. Be free. Can I tell you guys something? So. Here's just a Dan the Bugman thought. One thing that I take a lot of pride in is having good days when it looks like like crap outside. Because I know everyone else is having a dreary day. If I can have a good productive day on a day like today, you know, I feel good, I end up exercising, I do a lot of good stuff at work, I feel like I'm getting so much more ahead than people that are mostly just, you know, sitting at home, thinking about how ugly it is outside. Let me know what you guys think about rainy days and how... Nice turn signal! Anyways. <laughs> so let me know y'all's opinions on rainy days and how it makes y'all feel. I found a pretty active termite tunnel here. I'm gonna try to get a close-up of these actual individual termites so you can get a close-up picture of exactly what they look like. Um, they are insects, so, so they have six legs. So I just broke open that piece of tunnel and now they're moving back and forth trying to figure out what's going on here. All right, see those, those ones right there? Those are the worker termites. Those are the ones that go around and their only job is to just eat the wood, digest it and bring it back to the colony for food. Now let me see if I can find a soldier termite. Those are the ones that have big pinchers and help defend the colony from predators. Those three right there, those are all worker termites. See, they know to follow the trail even when it's not there because they leave chemical traces behind and they can sense where to go. Let me go ahead and knock a couple open. I wanna show you guys a soldier termite. They have really big pinchers and they help defend the colony. Let's see if there's any down here. Those are still all workers. Just going along chewing on wood you know those little insects you wouldn't think could do much damage to the wood but you know there's hundreds of thousands of them in a colony and they chew on your house for a few years and they can get it they can get it pretty good looks like there's a couple smaller termites right in there newborns they're a little smaller than the than the adults but they can still chew on the wood see that baby one right there He's so cute. Now, usually once a tunnel gets broken open, they send a emergency chemical signal and they will send 
these soldier termites to help defend. Okay, here we go. One just popped out. See how much bigger that one is? That is a soldier termite. It's got those big old pinchers on the front. And he will pinch me, but you know, it's too small to do any damage to me. But those, that's the termites that will help defend the colony from predators like spiders and ants and earwigs and other predatory insects. So yeah, termites are pretty cool. Although they're not cool if they're eating your house, which is what's happening here. I'm gonna crawl space again, surprise, surprise. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about how to inspect a house for cockroaches, just let me know. It is finally getting warmer outside, so I'm about to have a bunch of really cool content, so stick around and I will see you guys very, very soon.